Hello, it's Coretta Nicole and welcome back to my channel. How y'all doing, players? So today I'm here to do a different type of hair video. I haven't done one of these in quite some time, but I figured I owed you guys this since I have a new hairstyle once again, and I didn't give you the specs on my last protective style. So I'm going to give you the when, why, how, and my reviews or my feelings on this um, protective style. So if you'd like to see all of those specs, keep on watching, okay? Okay, we're going to start with the win. I got my braids done on Monday, uh, March the 16th, okay? And uh, my mom did them. So I got them done Monday at my mother's house, okay? The how, let's go to the how, okay? Um, my mother did them for me and I told her that I wanted braids again, but... I wanted them to be light to the, you know, I still want to feel like I got my natural hair out. I don't want them to be too heavy. I want them kind of big. I want them kind of spaced out. And I just, you know. So we used 10 bags of 100% cankalon hair. It was in a pink packaging, if that gives you any reference. I think it said Angel. But we used 10 bags of that. Um, some clips, a hair comb, and I used some hair uh, moisturizer beforehand okay that is the how the why is the biggest thing right now okay so as you guys know or don't know or whatever but if you know me personally you do know that I have been going through this hair journey type of thing I'm not really sure what I'm calling it or what is going on or why I'm doing it. like it kind of just kind of fell in my lap so um while I was pregnant with my daughter, you guys know I do have a little girl. She's three now. But while I was pregnant with her, I would get, I think I got like maybe two relaxes while I was pregnant with her. And they would burn the heck out of my scalp. And I was just like, something is not right. Because prior to pregnancy, the relaxes were just fine. I wasn't, you know, it wasn't bad. But like, it would burn to the point that it would keep burning over and over again. Like, even after the relax, it was fully washed out. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to hold off on relaxes. Hold off on relaxes until the rest of my pregnancy and then we'll go from there. So after I had my daughter, I got another relaxer. It did the same exact thing. So I was like, no, this is not me. Maybe I should go natural. But while I'm going natural, I'm like, I like to see big hair on other people, but I don't think I like big hair on myself. So I was like, no, this is not what I want. I need a relaxer. So I got another relaxer. Same thing happened. So I was like, okay, look, this is what we're going to do. I decided to stretch my relaxers as long as I could possibly stretch them. So I started getting sew-ins. Um, yeah, I got sew-ins for a good little while because it was like homecoming. So, you know, you want your hair to be cute anyway. So as long as I had a sew-in in, my hair was not being relaxed. It wasn't being, you know, chemically processed. So that lasted until at least November or December. So my birthday rolls around and I'm like, what am I going to do? So I initially put in box braids. This was last, last year. So I wore the box braids that I put in my hair for a couple of weeks, couple of months, took it down, did some other stuff in my hair, and then I ended up getting a relaxer. So that was like March, April. No, okay, I, this is exactly what happened. I did the braids and then I got a sew-in because of clinicals. After that, I took my hair down and I was just like, what am I going to do with the next? So that's why I got to relax. I remember it was around my daughter's birthday time. So I decided I would not get any relaxes all summer. So I ended up getting single lease tweaks, which I did talk about on this channel before. So I got a single list with that last thing all summer and then when I go to school in the fall, I just decided I'm still not going to get a relaxer. I'll wash the conditioner real good, straighten it, and then, you know, I wore different styles. I wore some buns. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw these. I wore buns. I wore a uh, two-strand twist. I, you know, I just tried to do a couple of different things just to keep my ends away and just keep my hair, keep my hands out of my hair to see what will happen. So, 
that didn't last long. I ended up getting a relaxer. I got a relaxer for a number of reasons. One main reason why I got a relaxer is because I had a very, 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 very important interview to go to. And I was just like, I cannot wear no bun to this interview. Like, no. So that was the main reason why I got a relaxer. And it got to the point where I couldn't do anything to my hair because of all the new growth. And the curl pattern wasn't showing up because it still had lots and lots and lots of relaxed ends. So I got a relaxer in September. So I decided, okay, I'm not going to do that anymore. But my relaxer lasted because I took very, very good care of my hair. So my relaxer lasted me uh, quite a long time. So then around October, like the week before um, Halloween, because I didn't get anything fancy done for my hair for homecoming I got the color added you guys saw how pretty that color was especially when it was curled and just bouncy and stuff like that so that was the new thing for me to do because I was like okay I'm not getting relaxes I'm not getting any more sew-ins let me get a color let me just change it up a bit and I loved it and so I realized I wasn't taking care of it properly so around January this year I realized that those ends were damaged really really bad so I cut them and I got braids again, which my friend Ashley did them for me. So Ashley, if you're watching this, hey girl. Um, if you wanna talk, go, you know, I'll leave her Instagram down below because she does braids all the time. But she did my braids for me, and they were it was a lot of braids, and that one we used four backs of the expressions hair, you know, the really, really 84 inch hair. And there was a lot of braids in my hair, but I love them. And then you know, those are the ones that I had and I used for my Valentine's Day. Um, tutorial. So, we're still talking about the why, okay? So, once I took those down and washed my hair, I, between the, um, the box braids, the protective style, and the bias and pills I was taking, I have a lot of new growth, and I was intimidated by it. I don't know what to do with it. I don't want big hair. I don't want the curly hair. I don't want my natural curl pattern to be my everyday look. I like straight hair, so I did not know what to do with my hair. So all of my friends are like, Coretta, don't get a relaxer. Don't get a relaxer. Don't get a relaxer. You can do anything but get a relaxer. My friend Mina, hey Mina, she won she was telling me get the uh, straightening comb and straighten my hair. I'm scared of straightening combs. I don't care if they're electric, plug in the plug in the wall, you put it on the stove, I'm scared of them. I was like, I don't know. So then, uh, my friend Bria, hey Bria, she was like, I did Big Chop. She did Big Chop, it looks amazing on her, but I don't want to do that. I'm scared. Like, I'm literally scared out of my mind. So, my mom was like, just get a relaxing call of the day because you don't get with two a year, which I don't get with two a year. But I was like, I don't want to get it up at home relaxer. So, I contacted uh, one of my classmates from high school and asked her how much does she charge because she is a licensed cosmetologist and I asked her so how much do you charge for a relaxer and a style blah 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 but I have other things to do where I can't get to the salon or I don't really want to go to the salon so I guess this was me being hesitant about doing something else to my hair so I just one day I woke up and it was like, Ma, I'm not going to relax there. I'm just going to do some braids. Which I was going to do my braids myself because my kids were away from home um, since Friday. So I was going to do them myself because I had time. I had, you know. And she was like, well, you know, I'll help you. So, this is why I have box braids. And, and I just want to get to a point where... I've done enough research where I can take care of my natural hair, but also have my natural hair straight. And that's because that's what I like to do. Even if I have to get down to the point where I'm getting one relaxer a year, I think that would be just fine. Like if I get a relaxer in January, or if I get a relaxer in the middle of the summer, whatever it is, I know I'm going to get to a point where I can do that. So now I have another protective style. But as long as I keep protective styles in my hair, I think it will be just fine. So this time, I decided that I wanted to get, um, I guess these are not really box braids. These are more like, I think they're called patro braids because they're a little bit bigger and my parts are not square. They're triangles. Um, the reason being that they are a little, little bit thicker is because I didn't want the tugging and the pulling and I didn't want as many braids. 
Because, you know, we have a lot of braids. It's hard to put in the ponytail. It's hard to do anything. It's hard to sleep. It's hard to move your head. Like, these braids are super, super lightweight, okay? And like I said, we used 10 bags of 100% Kankalaw hair. And I think the brand was called Angel. And I just got those from my local beauty supply store. The bags were $2.49 a bag. And like I said, we used 10 of those. So, and my mom, we went through like a trial and error. We, she did some. She took some down. We did it again. Blah, 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 blah. We just kept trying to get it to the right. We wanted to. And that's the good thing about having your mom do it or having you doing it yourself. So they are in triangle parts and they are of a larger consistency. I don't know if you guys can see that. And they are pretty long. I'm not going to stand up all the way, but they come down to my hip. Because when I first got them done, they were all the way down in my pants. The top of my pants were getting wet from us dipping them. So they are pretty long, which is, I didn't think they were going to be that long. Because when I did them, I can't remember if they were that long. But they could have been. The only con about having them be so big is that they do not stay braided at the end. They continue to unravel because it is so much hair in the, the actual braid. Okay. So now that that is out the way, you know, not paying to get something done is always the best thing, okay? The next thing is they are lightweight. There are not a lot of braids. I can sleep. I can move. I can put my hair up and don't feel like I'm falling back. You know how that is. I don't know if you guys have ever had braids, period, but that's what happens. And it gives me more time to do more research on what to do to my natural hair once I am tired of getting braids. Um, what I do like about it is that, um, my edges are not, um, pulling because the parts are a lot bigger than usual and, um, they're just really, really cool. Now, what I do want to try is a color. What I'm going to do is, because they say redo your edges every two, three weeks, and I am going to pop in some gray and see if I like that, you know, just try something out. But I just want to give you guys an update of what's going on with my hair and why I've been using protective styles for my hair because I don't know exactly what I want to do with my natural hair just yet. I don't know if I want big hair. I don't know if I want to do the big chop. I don't know. I don't know. I do know that I want to be able to straighten it when I'm ready to straighten it. And it has been hard to straighten as of late with all the new growth that I have and don't know what kind of products to use on it. So if you have any suggestions as to how I should take care of my natural hair and all of my new, new growth because I'm excited, let me know. Please link or link videos down below. Leave comments down below. Whatever it is that you have that you think could work for me, leave it down below. And if you have any questions about my hair, or comments about my hair um leave those links down below too you have any suggestions on how to keep my ends braided leave all that down below but if you like my hair and you know you like this video make sure you thumbs it up okay and yeah that's all i have to say about my hair this time It's simple and to the point. And like I said, I gave you the when, which is Monday. I gave you the how, which was 10 bags of 100% Kekamon hair from my local beauty supply store. And I gave you the why, because I want to protect my hair until I figure out what I want to do with it later. And I've told you that I love it. And all they got don't like is that they won't stay brighter. So, yeah. So make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends because I know there are a lot of people out here that are going through protective styling or going through a period in their life where they don't know what they want to do with their hair either. So this may help them out because that's what I've started my channel for just to help people just like me out. You know, I'm a, I'm indecisive. I don't ever know what really is going on in my head and what I really want to do. So yeah. Do all that for me and make sure you come back to my channel and continue to watch my channel. And you know, it'll be another video up soon. You know, I have my schedule down below and I guess I will talk to you guys later. Bye.